Hi, I'm Sean from Motor Legends, and today I'm going to be talking about the SRL kit for the Nia Tech 2, which is their communication system. So the SRL kit is an integrated system made for the showy Nia Tech 2. Um, you could potentially fit another kit to this, but this is the one that's really designed for this helmet because it fits in really beautifully. Um, you end up with three buttons here and there's nothing else going on. You just got a couple of plates that um, come off and then this is replaced by what's inside this box. And the only thing you end up with is a little boom mic there. So in a moment, I'll show you how that's all fitted, but just quickly run through some of the specs. It's got a 1.6 kilometer range. Now in real life, that's more like 800 meters. Um, as soon as you get into built up areas, you get interference with the signal and that just shortens the range. Uh, battery life, it just depends on how much you use it really. Um, some people have said five and a half hours, but that's um, at maximum volume with something going on constantly. Real world use, I think people get sort of 10 hours of use out of something like this. Um, obviously a standby time is a lot longer, but it just depends how much you're using it in between those times. Um, in terms of uh, what this is equivalent to, it's a Senna 20S that's been repackaged. Um, the, the system gives you um, something called audio multitasking, which means you can have layered sound, which is really nice. So if you've got a sat nav connected and a mobile phone connected, it will layer the sound. So you'll hear both things at once. Uh, it will fade one down, bring the other one back. So rather than a jerky skip back to front, it works very well. Uh, in, in the comms kit, you can connect up to eight riders. Um, I don't know why you'd want to talk to eight people at once while riding, but you can do that. Um, and if none of this is appealing to you, you can actually fit a different comms kit to this, but that's not what this video is about. So what I'm going to do now is show you how this fits inside this. So this is the unit itself. It looks pretty complicated, but hopefully after watching this video, you should find it pretty uh, easy to fit. It shouldn't be very daunting. So two speakers, you got a, an aerial on one side and some buttons on the other, sit nice and flush. Um, I find these easy to use, even with a gloved hand. There might be someone that disagrees with me, but compared to a lot of other integrated systems, I find these uh, a very a decent size. Uh, boom mic at the front. We've already put the cherry boom on top of that. Um, and then we've got the unit here with the brains and the battery and the little charging point. Inside the box, you get a little charging cable. It's nothing special, it's just uh, micro USB. And you'll also get spare microphone. You will also get some very basic instructions. Best thing to do is download the app and it will give you the full instructions. Now, we'll never be able to cover every minutiae of a, a, a system that's this complex. So uh, the best thing to do really to find out all the intricate details will be to go onto our website. Uh, and if you have any very specific questions, then give us a phone call and one of the team will be able to uh, answer that for you. So the helmet needs to be open when you're, when you're fitting it. Cheek pads come out first. So obviously open the strap and just there. Is that good? You can see now. <laughs> Bit of direction there from the cameraman. Um, so, we want this to be easy for you. Not easy for me. Um, three buttons removes the cheek pad. And then uh, you then pull from the front of the cheek pad. That pulls out the little tab and then you go back here and that, that cheek pad is out. It's held in on these little hooks here and here into little lugs at the front and rear of the helmet. Once that's open, uh, you remove these little plates. Now, you put 
pressure, I usually put two thumbs behind there and then pull back on the clip with the finger and they just slide off. And they slide slightly forward and out rather than just straight down because they've got angled grooves. Same on the other side, three, pa uh, three poppers and you just pull from front to back. So pretty simple again. Uh, same on the other side with the clips. At the back where the unit, the bulk of the unit sits, you push down on a little tab. You see that goes flying off. Uh, a little bit of foam just to um, stop any noise resonating if you don't have the uh, comms kit fitted to your helmet. So that sets it up. Other than these little earphone tabs which are held in with four little clips. So you just give them a bit of a tug by the plastic, not by the fabric. And that should then leave you with all the bits taken out. You've got some clips and they all fit nicely inside the box. I'm not sure if you can see those there, but you know what they are. Now, you now just lay this over the top. The back goes in first. You just lift up that rubber seal and tuck the wires neatly underneath. Now don't worry about where that part of the wire sits because the cheek pads will cover that up later. So what I tend to do is work out the best way to make that wire there tuck in behind. You tend to hold, rather than trying to poke the wire, you hold this part and the little tab. You push the wire down like that. And then this, I mean, I've, I've done this a few times, so I'm, it's, it's not cheating, but it's just practice. <laughs> um, you want to line that up. You feel it fairly um, positively kind of hold in place and you just push down, it clips in place. Don't worry too much about that wire, like I said. And then inside, you've got an area where we remove these, where the speakers go and the speakers just you find the four points and you'll see a little bit of white EPS showing through those four points clip in place. Really easy, not too much pressure. And then the microphone, just you, you run the wire through this little loom here and then the microphone will sit nice and easily in there. Uh, you just push the, the offset tabs in and then put a little kink in the microphone. Back to the other side, more of the same. You want to make sure your wire first tucks comfortably down there using the the eye to, uh, the sorry the the button part and the tab. So the tabs are fitting in the little gap that's quite obvious in the side between the shell and the EPS, and that just puts you down. Same thing. You feel sort of feel your way around with this, and you'll find that these little grooves sit with the microphone, it's the back groove that's going to go in first and the front groove that will follow and then you push back and down. So that's now tucked in there. Uh, speaker just curls round, clip that in. Now these two wires, like I said before, we don't worry too much about those because they're going to be out of sight. You don't want to put too much pressure trying to tuck them inside the shell. The only other thing you can do with these wires that come from the speaker back, you can, if you're a real uh, sort of OCD uh, kind of, you want, you want it to look absolutely perfect, you can tuck, you can flex the shell a little, releasing a gap in the EPS, and you can just tuck those, wire in there, uh, those wires in there, and that's the same on both sides. So, same here. And if you've got the end of a biro or a biro lid or something, you can tuck those back down. Or even you can use the, the tool you get in the box with the showy that you can adjust the, the pin lock with. So now the kit's installed. I mean, without talking through it, you can do these in about three minutes. Well, we, that's what we end up doing in the shop. So if you're struggling with this, pop in, we'll fit it for you. So don't, don't worry too much if this still isn't making any sense. Um, to put the cheek pads back in, you start at the back, so it's the reverse of the removal process. You start at the back. You put pressure, once that's found the lug, you put pressure down so you'll find it, it won't push any further back. 
and then this plastic ridge slides down and then you just locate it at the front pull the strap through and then you've got one two three poppers and then that tucks back through there strap and pad uh, sort of the, the sort of sheath and then same again other side tuck the wires out of the way back goes in first follow through to the front lug pull the strap through the little gap one two three poppers you find that one of when one of the poppers goes in it tends to locate the other two and if you do struggle with that popper at the rear there because it's probably the hardest one to get in without practice if you sort of just move around in a circular motion you'll find that it'll locate more easily so now you pull the last strap through you're good to go that is now fitted so now we have our intercom nothing on the right side and on the left side obviously not being the throttle hand you have your left hand to operate those buttons um, to turn it on two buttons to turn it off same two buttons um, and there's a number of other uh, times that you hold down the plus for a certain amount of time and the minus and the middle button it's just a case of learning it really um, like any of these things if you don't bother to put the time in learning it you won't have a very good experience with it but if you do spend a little bit of time reading the manual going through all the functions you'll really enjoy using this and it will be something you wish you'd bought a lot sooner so all of the parts that have removed from the helmet are now nice and tidy back in the box that can go in a box or in a cupboard or wherever you put your things never to be seen again um, and you're left with your helmet and your comms kit so how much does this all cost if you're buying it separately uh, it's 259.99 currently um, and if you buy it with a helmet because in the UK helmets don't have any VAT on them the same applies to the comms when they're fitted and bought at the same time so you save the VAT that makes it 216.66 at point of purchase um, now all that's left to do is go and enjoy this thing you can listen to your music sat nav directions make phone calls you can use siri um, you can talk to other bike riders because it's a center system they will connect to any other communication system be that a cardo uh, interphone or any other brand um, there are um, sorry there's an there's an app that connects to this that helps you link the only thing i'll say that is the same on all comms kits like this the radio isn't the best you're better off streaming it through your phone you have a much better um, experience by streaming it through your phone just with quality um, other than that i think that's all we've got to say and like i say if you, if you are stuck fitting your comms kit if you bought it from us and you tr you're struggling come in and we'll give you a hand fitting it so i've been sean if you want to find out more details about this Go onto our website, motorlegends.com. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. Um, and that's it, really. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.